all the German cities that was given to the kids. They were given the course you're about to get. And that was it. Here you go, you find a tank. It's like, so basically, center of gravity. Tuck it under your arm. This hand doesn't move. Lift up the rear sight. Yeah, this is the trigger. Hold it like that. And then you've got 30 meters, 60 meters, and 80 meters. Yeah, so basically, all you then do, line up on your mate, give it a squeeze, they get a barbecue. Perfect. Yeah, are you ready? Yeah. Center of gravity. And there's a strong, like, Right yeah, hand, awesome. you flick that up. Yeah, and I want it to be about there, mate. Yeah. yeah. Line up with the 30, 60, or the 80. Squeeze the trigger, and they get the good news. Yeah. There you go, you've done the course, you can find a tank. <laughs> Easy peasy, innit? Yeah. Throw away, just a throw away piece of kit, because they made millions of them. Yeah, Fired them, threw them away, picked up another one. Well done, mate. There you go, then you have hands face. It's a brilliant bit of kit. Um, late war, they were working on the version that was 150 metres. And if you look at that and the Russian RPGs, that's where they've copied it from. Has it? Yeah. Awesome bit of kit. How did they just. Yeah, um, this is hot molten metal. Yeah. yeah, and obviously the people on the inside of the tank didn't like it a lot. Uh, but it works. There, there weren't a single tank that this wouldn't be. Late war, you'll see all the Russian armour going through the cities. Um, basically, they'd go into the houses, tear the beds apart, and use all the, the wire from under the bed, and they'd weld that to the tanks. So there's space, so this would hit that rather than the armour. Mm. So it doesn't penetrate. Exactly. It's a kind of stand on Molten metal, you know, they're, they're full of um, soft, fleshy people and um, ammunition.